It's Monday, February 9th, 2015, and let's talk about what happened this weekend over at xdadevelopers.com. I just got back in from London, so it's been an extremely long day. Let's get started. First up, as I mentioned in the video for Friday, Canonical unveiled the first official Ubuntu phone as of this weekend. It's the BQ Aquarius E 4.5, and here it is. <laughs> I've got a video over on my channel where I unboxed it while I was in London, so if you'd like to see a little bit more of my experience with it, you can check that out. The device itself isn't available for sale yet running Ubuntu, but they're gonna be doing flash sales of it when it is available on the BQ website coming soon. Next up in device updates, it looks like Sprint and T-Mobile are working on rolling out Lollipop to the HTC One M8 as of this weekend, so start mashing that update button and we'll probably have OTA download link shortly. An official version of Lollipop for the Galaxy S4 LTE A version, the i9506 showed up this weekend over on Sam Mobile as well. And since this is an official version, it can be flashed over to your device using Odin and it's not gonna void your warranty, not gonna trip Nox or anything. So I would say read through the forum thread anyway just to make sure people aren't having issues with it, but it should be decently safe. Additionally, the Nexus 9 has now been added to the list of official CM12 nightly devices. So if you've been holding out waiting for CyanogenMod to come to it, maybe this might be worth taking a look at. And it appears that Flym OS has been ported over to run on the Sony Xperia Z. XDA senior member Psychmos put up an install guide, but it was actually developed by SuperMao87 at ROMJD. Reading through that forum thread, I see some people suggest trying using multi-ROM with it, so you wouldn't have to give up your daily driver, you could just go back and forth, so that might be worth a shot. And the number one thing I do see from that thread is make backups, and then make backups of the backups, and so on and so forth ad nauseum. And then Matthew posted an article about Cyanogen, giving a little bit of history about the company and what appears to be their plans for the future of Cyanogen Mod, and how they're looking to, in their words, take Android away from Google. Definitely an interesting read if you've got a few minutes. And one last thing before I toddle off to sleep, if you've got a Chromecast, go check out the Chromecast Offers page. There's a promo for $6 in free Google Play credit. I'm not gonna turn down six bucks in Google Play credit. It may only be available in certain areas. It might not be available in your part of the world, but still, it's a Valentine's Day thing. They tell you to use it for Valentine's Day movies. I'm probably gonna use it to buy apps or something. So go check that out and see if it's available for you. But you know what? That's gonna be about all from me for today because I am absolutely wiped. You can find the links to all the stories I talked about down in the video description as usual, as well as the links to my YouTube channels. Remember, if you like this video, please leave us a like down below the video. We definitely appreciate it. And subscribe to receive all of our content as soon as it becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you again next time.